YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be doing a nighttime skincare routine. Um, it's not exactly nighttime, but it's the evening. Um, I'm off work. Um, I work in a city, um, which like I feel, in my opinion, like makes my skin more prone to like oil and dirt. Um, you know, buses, dust, city streets, just feel filthy. Um, so I will be going over my skincare routine and also like. I guess some struggles that I had with my skincare, I would say within like the last nine months and a little secret that like I've taken a liking to that I think everybody should get into if they want to get rid of the things that I'm talking about in this video. So what's most important to start off, you want to wash your hands. Um, I wash my hands before I do my face. That's very important because I just got home, touching the car, the house door, etc. It's like a given though. Um, I hope you had a good day, because I had a good day. My day was really good. So I wash my hands, I'm gonna dry my hands now. And I'm going to tell you a couple of the cleansers that I use. The first one that I'm consistently using is the Urban Skin RX Even Skin Tone Bar. Um, the bar is inside of the jar, which I think is pretty dope. Um, yeah. And I also use a brand called Derma E. Um, I got it from Whole Foods and it's a hydrating foam cleanser. I, re I recently went to, um, New Orleans and they took it in the airport. So I don't have that at the moment. And then sometimes I use this CeraVe Rough and Bumpy Skin. I use that maybe like once a week just to introduce my skin to the, um, AHA and the BHA. Uh, I think they, they're um, chemical exfoliants. So like I have a few like rough patches like this right here. And I just use that maybe once or twice a week just to like make my skin aware like we're doing this, but we're also doing this. So get with it, are you? Um, and I also use this Thayer's, um, the face facial mist, the witch hazel. What I do is, so you're supposed to do this in between every step when you're doing a skincare routine. I spray it on my face and sometimes I just let it dry, like air dry, or sometimes I'll just dab it with the little cotton pads that I use. Um, and then I use the Therm Derma E Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Green Tea. Um, hydrating your skin is very, very important. Um, at least for me, the last time I went to an esthetician, she was like, you have combo and sensitive skin. And I was like, okay, girl. And so hydrating my skin is really, really important um, because my skin oils up. Some t it oils up a lot and it also can be really dry. I want to say it changes like when the season changes. And then, you know, I'm going back in there. I'm going back in with this in between every step. I'm not going to wrap And after that, I use a retinol. Listen, let me let me tell you something. Okay, my skin has been improving really, really, really well. Um, I don't know, I would say the older I got, it's like, you know, my skin was just like, okay, let's act up, let's, let's do what we wanna do. Um, so I took a notice to that and I was like, whoa. You know, like your face is the first thing people see. So I just wanted to make sure it's clear, hydrated, moisturized, plump, etc so retinol so what retinol will do is it increases the or it doesn't increase but it speeds up the um, cell turnover so like you know when your skin produces new cells um, in order for your the dark marks to go away you this like speeds up the process um, it is very I don't want to say concentrated but it's strong so the recommendation when you're using retinol is to, when you start, is to do it once or twice a week. And then you want to, I would say do it once and twice for the first week and then do it once and twice or two times the second week. And then the third and fourth week, then introduce it three and four times. I would say I use this maybe five times a week. And most of the time I put it on my face, you know, after I hydrate, I put it on my face and I, um, like after I put my moisturizer on and my oil, I also blotch tested like or spot treated because you know there's some parts that are darker that i want to get rid of faster so i'll spot treat it only at night do not use this in the daytime because with the sun being out it will burn your skin it will burn your skin you'll be all burnt 
And so next after that, you know, we're gonna keep going in with this. I would actually say the first couple steps, I use the toner. After I get to the moisturizer and the oil, I stop because I just feel like, girl, enough. So I use the Mad Hippie Triple C Night Cream. It has three vitamin C's. Um, and they say this is really good for, um, what is it called? It's like a Korean skincare kind of thing. M Mad Hippie. I think it's Mad Hippie. Um, and I only use this at night because it's so heavy. I don't use this in the daytime. And I don't use retinol in the daytime. Um, and after that, I use this rose tip oil. If you know, you know. I got some Whole Foods. I got everything here from Whole Foods except the Urban Skin RX stuff. I got that from Ulta. And that's what's really been working for me. Like, I've been really consistent with it. It's actually clear. This side is way clearer than it used to be. Um, yeah. Skin was just tripping. And, on, and not only that, I like to eat sweet, okay? I love some... Like, if you know me, you know I cook. So, like, I'm always trying new things. I'm always trying to, like, bake or cook. And I have a bit of a sweet tooth. I try to, like overcompensate with water because of that but sometimes it just get into me and then the mask that i was talking about i got this from target um it's called a ultra hydrating mask which i would say is like best for my skin to hydrate 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 moisturize 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 okay um it's a birch leaf face mask and it goes on like clear it's green but it goes on like clear green and then it washes white and as you're applying it it's heated I probably put it on for like 15 minutes and then you know I get into my skincare routine I probably mechanically exfoliate that means like the little chemical exfoliation and mechanically exfoliation are two different things I believe chemical exfoliation goes like underneath the surface and um, mechanical exfoliation goes on the surface and it just like the dead skin I guess or just to make your skin more appear brighter you know um so yeah i'm about to get into my routine so i use a baby washcloth because the urban skin rx bar came with a little sponge but i lost it so i run into some warm water and i lather and lather more water on there to get it good i'm gonna tell y'all though retinol like i i vouch for retinol okay they need to sponsor me, any retinol. Retinol, retinol, retinol. You wanna get that clear glass skin, everybody showcases, I guess. But the thing about everything in life is do what works for you. I went to an esthetician and she told me like, hey, these are the things that you need to do. These are the things that you need to um, be aware of. Um, I also would recommend getting facials regularly, at least once a month, you know, if you can afford it twice a week, maybe depending on your skin i go around in circles um i do this for about 60 seconds just to get it good some nights i double cleanse like if i'm out all night or it's just a really hot day and my face was like doing numbers with the oil i double cleanse and if i double cleanse i do the cerave rough and bumpy skin first and then i do the urban skin rx you know, circles under and also you want to get under your chin no so I just rinse my face and something that I just stopped doing was using a towel um I would say using a like paper towel is best because it's clean it has no bacteria but like using a face towel if you go in and in and in I mean unless you switch it up every day cool but I'd rather just use these little pads and then, like I said, I like to spray this in the air. And then if I don't feel like waiting, like for the sake of this video, I don't feel like waiting, I'll just blotch it in, I guess you could say. Okay. And then next, what I do is I double hydrate. So I put a layer of hydration on. Oh, I put a layer of hydration on and then I put a second layer of hydration on. Because like I said, with my skin type, I like to make sure that I keep my face hydrated. 
something that's also important as you are doing your at home skincare is to um, massage upward. You know, if you want to keep that skin youthful, um, upward, upward. I never just like sloppily apply. I make sure I apply it all and then spread the well. Don't forget to under your chin. And then go back in and one more again. And as I cleanse one more time. I'm having catfish and cornbread for dinner, y'all. I'm so happy. That makes me like really, really happy. In the comments, let me know what y'all use or something that's worth for y'all that, you know, is not, I guess, inclusive to just one skin type. I don't know about yourself, but okay. Okay, and then I like to go in one more time. This is probably my last time that I go in with the toner. After that, I like to use my Holy Grail. My retinol. This is my favorite thing because I can really see this making an improvement. Um, and another thing, be consistent. Be consistent with your routine, morning and night. I would say in the morning, you know, don't do so many steps. You know, I exclude my retinol. I exclude my, I exclude my moisturizer because it's a nighttime moisturizer. I can use it in the day, but I choose not to just because my skin, like after, like I also use SPF and SPF can be kind of thick. And I just feel like that's too much. Like I want my skin to be able to breathe. Again, do what works for you. So I'm done with my retinol. And next I do my triple C night cream. Massage up. Don't forget to do that. I think next, my next phase for my skin, I think I'm, well, I know I'm gonna do a chemical bill. Um, I will be going to K Stewart to the salon. I've been telling my friend that for a long time. Andrea, y'all know, shout out to Andrea. Best hairstyles in the city. Who fucking with her? Ooh. Um, but yes, she works in Baltimore and she also works in the PG area. I think Sundays and Mondays. So I will put her information in the link below. I just love it, it just feels so good. And last but not least, my oil so with these with the tincture you're not supposed to like put it on your skin so i just like let it drip because if you let it touch your skin and then put it back into the bottle that um i guess can cause bacteria to go back into the bottle then it's like what are you really doing this for upward 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 And so my friends, we are done. Yeah, chemical pills next. Okay, it's time to get rid of, rid of a layer. And that concludes my nighttime skincare routine. Um, for the sake of this video, I'll seal the deal. And just drink your water. Drink your water and also do some detoxes. Detox your gut. A lot of times when people have acne, I recommend a probiotic. I'm not a professional, but I do a lot of reading. I recommend a probiotic to detox your gut or support your digestive system. Um, do some colon cleanses, liver cleanses. You y'all know a lot of the things that's wrong with the outside is because of the inside.